So, guys, welcome back to another episode of the 45 gallon reef build. Um, first off, let me start by apologizing. I am sorry. I did not walk you guys through the aquascaping, but I kind of accidentally stumbled across an aquascape I like. And if there's one thing I've learned about aquascaping is you don't mess with it because you never get it back how it was before. So on, what, I had an idea where I wanted to kind of build a wall up on the back and side wall of the tank and then have like a single island um, just to give it depth as well as, you know, like a zoa garden. Um, as I mentioned, I ordered 100 pounds of Pukani um, for both tanks. Um, the 75 is done. It's already starting to cycle. You guys saw that aquascape if you've already seen that video. Um, and now this aquascape's done. I just need to get some epoxy to kind of set some things in place just to make it stronger. And then I'll put the sand in here in the next day or so and start cycling this tank as well. Um, I guess let me go ahead and show you guys what I came up with. So this is what I came up with for the 45. Um, it's hard to tell in the video, but from where I'm standing, you got a huge sense of depth, which I've always find to be my biggest fault in aquascaping is I like to have that gradual depth that builds up across the tank and not just the rock wall look. Um, since this is a 24 by 24 inch cube, it's definitely a lot easier to get that depth and I've learned that. So from now on, all my tanks are going to be at least 24 inches deep. Um, so as I mentioned, I kind of wanted it to work on the left and back work its way from the left to the right building its way up to the top peak and then back down and then have like a little island here in the front right. Obviously the little island's not there, uh, but this is what I came up with. Uh, right. So I'll get you down, got it, you guys right here. And all this rock is, like I said, Pukani. Let me get rid of that glare for you guys here. There we go. All right, so, which, one thing I've learned about Pukani, I don't like it. Um, I'm gonna use it because it wasn't cheap, and I know it's really good rock as far as for establishing biologic filtration. But as far as aquascaping, it the pieces are big, they're bulky, they I just don't like it. I think um, I'll stick with Fiji in the future. Um, but anyhow, um, I did get some unique pieces, including this one right here, uh, which, as you see, let me see if I can come around to this side. As you see, has pretty unique shape. Starts out low and then gradually works its way up and has allowed me to get, it had some natural caves in it. And then the tank works its way up. And then there's a real steep peak, which is cool because I'd be able to put like some monies or something right there. Um, or maybe like some tabling, tabling acros and have them kind of grow out to fill in that, that little uh, void. And then up top, there will be obviously some SPS up there. And then it gradually works its way down and I was able to get some big caves here. But the cool part about what I was able to do on the Honestly, I was just kind of playing with it just to get ideas. Was I was able to bring it down back towards the left a little bit, which created a really cool swim through, as well as some more caves, but also obviously gave me more landscape for corals. If we move to the right side of the tank, a completely, completely different view. Um, obviously, the cord from this light is in the way, but um, you know, you get the real steep look off to the right here. It still has a sense of, sense of depth, and then the swim through right here actually looks like just a big cave, which is really cool. Um, I think I might need to add another piece or two around here, and maybe something down here just to kind of give it a little more gradual view. But this is what I came up with, and uh, I'm happy with it, so I don't see this one changing. So again guys, I'm sorry I didn't actually give you guys a walkthrough on this video. Um, I accidentally stumbled across something I like, which meets all my requirements and I'm excited. So the next video we'll go ahead and get the sand in this tank and start cycling. Until next time, like, comment, and subscribe guys. Alright guys, please don't hate me. Um, I did change the aquascape yet again before I even released the first part of this video that you saw on the 45 gallon tank. Um, I decided it was kind of a bit too much. I wanted something a little more minimalistic just to open up the front of the aquarium a little bit. So here's what the ultimate uh, aquascape looks like for the 45 as well as the uh, start of the cycle. So here's the front of the 45. I've got a ton of Pukani in there. Um, as you'll see that I went ahead and did away with the arch 
as well as the possible island in the front right. Um, I basically wanted just a lot of depth, a lot of levels, as you see it builds up from left to right, or sorry, from the left to the back, and then from the right to the left, uh, which I feel this is going to give me a lot of depth, as well as make the uh, oxygen very unique, and a lot of place to place, oh, a lot of area to place corals on. And then we swing around here to the right, it's not quite as dramatic, um, but it still gives a lot of open area um, for fish and corals and a whole new, a whole different view on the tank. Also while we're at it, I have started the cycle. It's been going on probably about three days now. Um, I've got some, I don't know if you guys can really see that, but there's a bunch of other Pukani in the sump to start the refugium, as well as I've got the rest of the pro, uh, controller programmed going. Um, I did dose some Microbacter 7, since I'm doing the Brightwell Aquatic Zeovit system on the 75, I had that lying around, as well as I've uh, kind of done some shadow feeding on the tank to start the ammonia cycle, or the nitrogen cycle, and probably just going to go ahead and get some Biospire right here in the next day or so, throw that in there and then throw in a hearty fish or two um, of the wife's liking, because obviously this is going to be her tank. So I hope you guys like this as well, I'm very happy with the way this tank's coming out. Um, Next thing you guys will probably see is a couple of equipment reviews for a skimmer, reactor, as well as a light. So as always guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more updates on the 45 gallon reef tank. Thanks.